Hello, I'm back in Reviews and React, and I remember it's so you and have to, and today we're watching Wrinkle in Time by Nostalgia Critic. Yep, the movie that has Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, and everyone's favorite controversial actress now, Mindy Kaling. Yes, we all know why Mindy Kaling is coming, come, well, there she is, Mindy, you created Velma, no one likes it. That's why people find you controversial. Because you created Velma and it sucks. I and mean, you made the characters all mean spirited and you know, it sucks. It sucks. You can defend all you want, but Velma sucks. Sorry. Hello. Well, I've never seen Velma, but I but I know it's one of the worst shows ever made. And we can all thank Mindy and everyone for making that show terrible. But now let's get to Wrinkle in Time. And see if this movie is actually bad or good. Wrinkling time. Oh, wrinkling time. so you don't have to. There's just something about nostalgic fantasy books. Whether they make good film adaptations or whatever Aragon was, whatever there's Aragon an artist was. that has to see what the cinematic version of the most imaginative tales look like. And clearly the best director for a trippy sci-fi mind warp about children traveling to different worlds would be one who specialized in films about prejudice and race relations. Wow. Well, that turned out exactly what we got. I being admittedly an already difficult book to adapt, Wrinkle in Time tries to be that artsy kid film and to open up your mind, but instead turns out to be that artsy kid that tries to open artsy up your mind kid. with his ultimate interpretation of Donnie Darko. Yeah, you all know that asshole, they made a movie like him. Based on the only kid's fantasy book you remember being more Jesus-y than Narnia, the adaptations for this novel have often been underwhelming, and this version is, well, not underwhelming, but how do I put it? Remember that very pompous ending to American mm -hmm. Beauty where they say you don't understand our film, but don't worry, you will? Imagine that for two hours. But is there anything about it that worked? I mean, without the use of a slowly becoming legal substance? Well, let's take a look in more detail. This is the unsurprisingly bizarre, but surprising in the way it's bizarre, Wrinkle in Time. The film opens with Chris Pine and Mel Gibson's beard Pine. showing his daughter <laughs> May the ABCs of pretentious speeches. Love is always there, even if you don't feel it. It's always yeah, there. Yeah, I just came off of Wonder I'm Woman, so... When you read the reviews for this movie. This is our enough. It's, it's not God, it's, it's just... It's just the unfolded. Gee, I wonder if that speech about love means he's gonna disappear. One gone yeah. dead later. One gone dead later. Dead later. But perhaps the biggest mystery, why can two kids who can have screens yeah. in front of them literally through breathing listening to radio? As a pop song indicates, Meg is sad, and often made fun of by mean <laughs> kids who say such terrible things as Hi Meg. Bet you get it! Come on, come on, Royal Blanchard, what are you in this film? Me? You better expect this in return. Hi Meg. Oh hi Mar. <laughs> Trust me you'll be seeing oh, a few oh, high marks oh, in this. Oh, oh, oh hi Mar. Why is Bo Blanchard in the film? Like, like... Yeah, I think she... I think this is when she was still on Drummy's World, so, you know... Either this is when she just... When they cancelled the show. Uh... Did you hear that, Meg? Also, I'm confused. Who's he talking yeah. about being awkward and funny looking? Wait, Meg is supposed to be awkward and funny looking? <sighs> oh god, yeah. By Disney standards, what a dog! I bet she was only on the cover of four magazines <laughs> instead of five! When will everybody learn that beautiful people are beautiful people? 
she gets sent to the principal for introducing the bully to basketball <laughs> because that's a problem the principal would deal with. And he tries to give some advice. You can't keep using your father's disappearance as an excuse to act out. Odds are, he's not coming back. Oh, this is why I got the most emotionally crippling principal of the year award. Don't worry, things will make more sense when you get home. Uh. Your house is so warm. You've done a wonderful job keeping the darkness out. Call uh. Mrs. Wetsit. Uh. I will call you anything you uh. want as long as you don't uh. touch my bathing suit area. Uh. Don't worry. She's my friend. I call no, her. No, stay away from her, kid. She's just terrifying. Anybody who breaks into a house and touches kids like that is yeah. not harmless. She is on a list. Yeah, yeah. Have I ever been wrong? You might be Charles Wallace. Oh, I highly doubt that. He's one of the greatest minds in recent history. His personality's on par with Man Dark, but still a smart cookie. I do hope you leave on a line more up your ass than your toilet paper coat. Wild night to my glory. I'm really confident in my weirdness, which means I either escape from a place with bars on the window or I'm really cool. Uh. I'm not really cool. I ran this boy from school. Uh. Wanna be a character? I'm Cal Ross. Name's Brother. You're Calvin, aren't you? That I am. What are you doing here? I don't know. I'm How do you even have a brother when you don't even have a last name? But I do give this punchable look of whimsy every five minutes. So what do you say, Calvin? You want to come with us? Why not? <sighs> <sighs> so, ever wonder if that crazy cat lady down the street was as insane as you thought oh, she was? No. Love without love. Oh like no! Get out! Still Mindy Kaling. Get out! Let me see. This is Mrs. Who, played by Mindy Kaling. Charles seems to be killing her and explains how she only speaks in obnoxious quotes. She's just a bald past language, so when she needs to think, she cheats and uses other people's words. Oh, that's evolving past language, huh? Because it kind of sounds like you're just not smart enough to come up with your own words, so you use a famous quotes calendar to give the impression you're above everyone else. The wound is the place where the light enters you. Rumi, Persian. Hey, how Please about this quote? quote? Do not need to quote great men to show you all one. I realize the irony I'm using a quote to get that across, but I don't think she's smart enough to realize that. You were Mrs. Who. We tired her out. She was really tired. Yeah, she, yeah, she really wanted to sleep out. It, she should have really slept, faces. slept during her performance of Velma and Velma if she really wanted if she really wanted to sleep, if she wanted to sleep in this. As they discuss how her dad suggested that space travel. Yeah, but if she wanted, if Mindy Kaling, Mindy Kaling wanted to sleep in this film, then why didn't she sleep? So the entire performance of, death of Velma and let someone else take over the role. Yeah, Mindy, you ruined the Velma character. Thanks a lot. That's why you're so controversial. Wow, I didn't turn. This, I didn't mean this review, this reaction to turn into a Mindy Kaling. Me calling out Mindy Kaling for being controversial thing. Uh, anyway, let's get back to the movie. We'll probably get more Kaling, but you know I don't. I don't, I don't dislike Mindy Kaling. I just don't think. I just think that she's really ruined herself with Velma. But let's get back to this. And be done through the right frequency from your mind. Rather than enduring the oppressive rules of time and space, we could wrinkle it. And we don't need rockets. Oh, name of the movie. A wrinkle in time. Into the right wrinkle frequency. it. You just need your mind. You have to be really long-winded and act like you're superior above everyone else. Speaking of which, where's Oprah? Uh, what? Okay, she, uh, yeah. Finally, a size and image that encompasses all of Oprah's ego. Why be president when I can be God? <laughs> yeah, yeah Oprah's a God. Extraordinary thing. No human has ever traveled so far out in the universe. Uh, why is she so I was huge? I about putting him on the cover of my magazine. Just kidding, you'll be me again. <laughs> we heard a call out in the universe. A human call. They say the call must have come from her father, so they're there to help find him. We must find him as soon as we can. Are you up for it? Depends. Will I also look like Tina Turner exploding into Lady Gaga? Um. You just have to find the right frequency. Uh, that kind of, that joke doesn't work now. Now that we learned that Tina Turner is now dead, that Tina Turner died yesterday, Hearing him make a joke about Tina Turner, knowing that she died yesterday, is kind of one of the nostalgia critic things that 
wouldn't work in today's standards. Like if he redid this review and he made a Tina Turner joke, I think he I think he would either be can't I think he would either, I think he would, you know, realize that and relay that and realize, hey, Tina Turner just died. He shouldn't be making a joke about a dead person. But four years ago she wasn't dead, but now she is dead. But you know, so making a joke about a dead person was okay for it. But anyway, back to this. Okay, that last part is bullshit, but Disney really likes to throw that in. You're scary to that far yeah. away. I don't need to see you up close. The foot feels the foot when it feels the ground. Boots please, please stop me. Shut up or I'll stab you in the face with a soldering iron. Walk it, Joe Dirt. They journey to one of your desktop backgrounds they get busy trying to find her dad or they look around. That's a racist joke. Maybe he wants to take out a black person. The <laughs> almighty over smiles at your enchanting waste of time. Oh, don't think he pass up a whimsical face. You should talk to them. Everyone knows that flowers are the best gossipers in the entire universe. I think even hippies would watch this and get a job. Can you help us find him? They speak color. Hey, that's funny. I speak finger. They say her father is just north of Avatar Park, so once this suggests they travel on her, once she changes into... <laughs> sexy vegetable gremlin? Tucker, American. Eat shit and die, everybody everywhere. So they ride the cabbage patch. What? Mythical, you're not helping this film. Please stop they with, to your, touch her. with your random slang. Like but it is all too laughably real. Again, I don't. Hey, look, it's got Oprah. We got more scenes than got Oprah. I think I. Oh. I think I want well, more scenes to cut over than I want to see the Mindy Kaling saying random Jordan's. slang. Perfection lives in the cheeks of paradise. This is where we grow the jelly green giant's testicles. What? what? I think he got that voice from singing lessons? But uh oh, they lose one of their fops. Oh no, I'm gonna die! <gasps> Flowers catch him though, and they show them the evil that distracted their flight. It's called Camazards, known simply as the It. <laughs> I know I don't come up with a better joke, but I love any excuse to play that clip. What do we do? Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind. Shakespeare, British. The ability to speak doesn't make you intelligent. No. The only good quote from Phantom Menace. Travel to Mordor Stonehenge, where they come across the Happy Medium, which sounds like a New Age kid show on Bravo. Well, you obviously don't understand the importance of balance. Well, not as much as you, Zach Stunt Double. We are Rain looking Walden? for a man who's lost in the universe. Well, this one popped up right away, but give me some more information. They say they all have to think of Meg's father in order to locate him, but she can because she doesn't see how that'll help. I really don't understand how thinking about him is going to help us find him. Now, flying vegetable ladies and 10 story talk show host, that I can believe. But <laughs> think of my father? I just don't follow. They explain that they need her father to fight the it from corrupting mankind, and that gives her the courage to find awesome. him with just the happy medium. Wait, what happened to needing everybody? Don't make it. Make it up as we go along. They see the father figured out teleporting, but got captured by the it. So they decide to go back to Earth to figure out a plan. Meg's will to find her father is too strong, though, and it redirects them to where the it is. A place where the three stooges have no power, so they have to leave. Don't encounter things you think Yeah, we literally were in this film but just for now, for here, just for 30 minutes. This place to be suspicious. Now this is especially disappointing because in the book, apparently they're revealed to be centaurs. But my guess is Heavenly Oprah would die before being seen as something such ungodlike. But I, of course, would not want to rob you of such an image. So here it is, Oprah Centaur. We can barely test our ourselves. We must continue on without us. That, that is so disappointing. Like, it's so disappointing to know that they had the ability to turn into centaurs. But they're like, yeah, 
yeah, we don't want to be tough dogs. We just want to be normal people. But this movie's already, this movie's already sucking. Cause I thought it was gonna be a good movie, but as soon as like as soon as he said they had the power to turn the centaurs just now and chose not to, I was like, yeah, there's no hope for this film. How could you pass up on the opportunity of having gods turn into centaurs? That is the coolest power ever. And you squandered it for what? For what? Just to see Oprah act like a normal person? We can see that in real life. We don't need to see this in this movie. And what about Reese and Mandy? What do they have to do then? Why can't they, why can't they turn to centaurs? Why can't they turn to centaurs? You must find your father. In times like this, I really love my job. Sophia tries to chase our heroes down, but they escape via Kingdom of the Crystal Skull Bridge and try to figure out what to do next. How did you do the whole thing with the log? Just a physics thing. Just a physics thing. <sighs> they find a neighborhood, but quickly put together, it's a little uh... too pleasant, village. Huh. Darling, time for dinner. Are you lost, children? I bet you're hungry. We're having fresh you tonight. Uh, uh, I have roasts and potatoes and cakes of all sorts. I could eat. Come on, we just been told we're in a place yeah, of pure evil. What yeah, did go wrong? Yeah. Next you'll be telling me that gingerbread house is evil. Thanks, we're good. You just cakes turned. of all sorts. Oh. But there are cakes of all sorts, guys. Swords! The neighborhood turns into a beach once again trying to trick them. Who are you guys? The man seems to know who they are and possesses Charles to follow him. Ah. That's everything. You better write to us. I'm beginning to think cakes of all sorts are crumbs of limited options. Is he a... Is he... Welcome to Central Central Intelligence. He is dangerous. Shut up, Meg. Yeah, shut up, Meg. What? A family guy joke? A failing joke? That's the best you could come up with? Did I really just hear that? <laughs> they honestly just said, shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. Yeah, shut up, Meg. Okay, well, I guess it's only a matter of time before Disney would do this joke yeah. better than Fox is. Shut up, Meg. Yeah, everybody lost that day. So bad enough the stranger is turned into a puppet club med host and Calvin is stuck in permanent Mark Wahlberg happening face. What? No. <laughs> but Charles's amazingly misdirected acting now has an evil spin as his possession forces him to talk more like a James Bond villain. <laughs> That's so like you to try to come to the rescue, isn't it, Calvin? Always so helpful, overly cheery, pathetic. Honestly, I can't decide whether or not this makes things more awkward or if it just fits right at home with his performance. Watch your toe! Would you like to meet it? Happy sadist. This kid could give Minus a run for his money. <laughs> yeah. He's gone. He's not mm -hmm. gone. I don't see him. He suddenly turned from the most annoying part of the movie to suddenly the best. Ooh. Clever. Perhaps if you push back my bedtime, I won't have to push back your dead time. <laughs> he uses the glasses, though, to find a secret entrance to where her father is. Look out! A genuinely emotional scene! <laughs> Look out! A, genu a genuinely emotional scene! We have to skip it! Skip it! Skip it! Skip it! Skip it! Even though this is a very touching and well-acted moment, I have to admit, I do kind of want Porky Pig to jump <laughs> out and say that's all, folks. For no more reasons, the movie would stop. Da, 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 so the father da, 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 is back, but that doesn't subtle tell Charles' acting at all. I'm underwhelmed. I can see the weaknesses of any soul. Like, take your soul. So desperate to matter in the universe. I want to bundle you up in a toy and call you my little Hitler. What? What? No cakes of all sorts is worth this. Charles throws them in a dark realm where the it tries to tempt Meg to join him. Take a good look at her. She's a better version of you. She doesn't have to just make your imagination. I can make her real. Oh my god, she's... 
moderately better looking. Honestly, I kind of think she looks better how she is. She, of course, resists and Meg tries to snap Charles back to his, quote, normal self. I love you, Charles. Is that just his name? <laughs> is his name just... Don't make me so is his name just Charles Wallace? Because that is the only thing she'll call him. She doesn't call him Charles or any nickname. She just says, Charles Wallace. I love you, Charles Wallace. Dude, is that your name? Is that... Is, do you not have no last name? Is your name just Charles Wallace? Because who constantly calls their brother by their first and last name all the time? No one. They call him by their first name, but not their last name. This movie's weird. Someone aggressively shake you. It's mildly annoying. It of course works, and Charles is back as the missus return to give support. Some hey, we cannot be. We cannot. We cannot be centaurs in this. But we will be, but we will have Mindy Kelly, Reese Witherspoon, and mm, God Do you him. mean actual warriors or getting offended to feel superior on social media? She returns home in a beautiful yet weirdly long transition home, mm. and the family is once again whole. Your calculations. They gave us the other person. Now, I might have messed up a few parallel dimensions. It's a long story, but I think I have triple blood in me now. Hey, huh? I guess we're cool now for no reason. Let's go eat something. Cakes of all sorts. What is your deal? Yep, she she I kicked her in the head. Without you, head with a basketball. Snow. And that was a wrinkle in time. All the right ingredients for the wrong meal with the wrong cook. In a weird way, I can see this being one of those trippy movies that kids look back on years later as a means of opening up creative ideas. But unlike other films that did that, like, say, Labyrinth or Fantasia, this isn't going to hold much value for adults. Visually, it's nice, and it's got some interesting concepts. I'll even go out on a limb and say the performances from everybody are good if they were just in more fitting movies. Charles's acting could be great in a kid's action film. Calvin's acting could be great in a Spielberg-style fantasy. Even the mysticists could work in maybe a fairy tale type genre. But with the exception of the main lead and her father, who really do hit their marks perfect, everybody seems like they're giving their all just in the wrong project. Because of that, it's a little entertaining in just how misguided it is. I don't know if that's the director or Disney or whatever, but it's a fascinating look up. My guess is none of the people who worked on this are going to have trouble finding work in the future. It just has to be a project that matches their talents better. As is, though, this is a crazy-ass journey for what the hell's bill that didn't make me think, but it did make me smile. Yeah. I'm not a nostalgia critic, Tanfield. Excuse me. There's a certain season around the corner I need to get excited for. That's right. Chris Mal! Wait, this first. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, this first. Oh, right, his commercial special. Yeah, well, I'm waiting... Till I finish all the stop trick videos before I do the commercials. But yeah, before I go back to the commercials. But yeah, that was Wrinkle in Time. Weird movie. It wasn't a bad movie. I still wish we could see Oprah, Mindy Kaling, and Reese Witherspoon as centaurs. That would be cool. But it's not a terrible movie, but yeah. That's it for this movie. Well, I'm a comedian. I'm reacting. I remember it. You don't have to.